Hey there, I'm JJ, and today we're going to be talking about how to use the dimensional control inside of Looker Studio. Uh, it's a newish feature, depending on when you're watching this, and it is really great to allow your end user who's using your dashboard to visualize uh, what they're looking for. But there's also a bunch of gotchas that we have to take into account as far as breaking dimensional scope, uh, making sure that you understand what you're adjusting. So we're going to hop right into it. So here I have a little demo set up, uh, nothing too fancy. We have a table up here at the top right. We have um, with source session medium, event count, add to carts. We then have event name, event count, and then down here we have item revenue with the item name down here. So what you can do, I've already cheated and add this here, so I'm gonna delete that. And what you can do is you can come up here and say add control. Now we have dimensional control down here. I'm going to click in and add that really quickly. What a control does is it provides the end user the ability to control the entire report or whatever is actually applicable to this. By default, it will pull whatever is on the chart. So event name here. I'm gonna add in a few more just to show you what we have. Landing page, we will then have session source medium, which is a session source, and we will add in session medium, okay? So say you have a table like we have here and you wanna say, hey, I wanna use the event name, all right? If you click on event name, it's going to update every single dimension to then reflect what you have selected here. So landing page, event name, session source, etc. All of these have been updated. So here we have session source with item revenue. Here we have session source with uh, event count and add parts. Here we have session source uh, with event count. So here we can then say landing page, etc. What I want to show you though is what happens if you increase scopes. So say for example, I wanted to have in uh, item name, right? So we have an item name as one of our dimensional controls. And now if I click on that, it will break scopes. So just to recap, we've now covered how to use this tool. We've covered where you can access it and how you can add in dimensions. Now let's talk about how you can actually apply this. But first, if you have not yet downloaded the perfect dashboard cheat sheet, do so visionlabs.com forward slash YouTube, and you can grab this, put your name, email, and what you are here, and you get this cheat sheet along with the eight optimization points, and you can even create a free account if you want to. It is really awesome. And also uh, deliver a newsletter every single Thursday that you can then apply to your business. It talks about visualizations, data, applying it, activating your data, every single Thursday at 7 a.m. So I'd implore you to go and fill this out. It is a great overall thing. And we have lots of great resources on Vision Labs. Go over there, check it out. It's a great time. So visionlabs.com forward slash you. So now how do we stop this from happening where we mix dimensional scopes and everything else? I want to show you a feature, a little known feature inside of Looker Studio that's called grouping. Okay, so grouping is awesome because it allows you to group things together. So say, for example, we did not want to have item name in here. Let's get rid of that. I wanted to just apply this dimensional control up here uh, to um, these two charts up here. What you can do is you can click and drag over them, right click and hit group, okay? So now these are grouped together. So if I change these, this right here to event name, it will change both of these to event name, okay? If I change it to landing page, it will change both these to uh, landing page. It will not affect this down here, okay? So now you have the ability to group things together the shortcut of this is Command G if you're on a Mac or Control G if you're on a PC. Um, so that is what you can do. So now we've been able to apply this here. Uh, if you wanted to get really, really fancy with things, okay, so I'm gonna ungroup these, uh, Command Shift G if you're on a Mac. What you can do is if you wanna get really fancy is if you put this over this, and I'm not gonna spend all of the time to style it to look great, but if we come over here to style, we can then make the header, uh, the background green, just, all right, we're already on, there we go. Okay, so you can, you can see how you can make this even more um, applicable here, but what you could do is you could put this over this, and then you could say, let's make this just for the sake of making it pretty, let's do it white, not the right button. Okay, so now what you could do is if we went to view mode, right, we could he say, hey, I wanna have session source, and now it has applied to both of these. It looks like it's applicable, and if you really wanted to get fancy with it, you could come over here and turn um, the border 
off so that now it blends right on in and you could say hey event name there we go so that's all right another apl application for you to use this every day let's talk about some more cool ones that we can look at our little demo i've got set up for you right here so here we have things grouped together in a way that you could maybe apply these for um your clients, your colleagues, etc. So over here in the top middle, we have a dimensional breakdown around items. So if you have IDs or variants or brands, you can then select these to then pull in those different breakdowns for e-commerce, right? So really quickly, now you've got the ability to change in between item name, item ID, any of those types of pieces. This again, super simple. I've already showed you how to do that. I'm not going to recap it, but now you can see how you can apply that. Um, down here, we have dimensional as a pie chart, right? You can use a pie chart or something else. You could say, hey, I want to see the different host names that we have. Ta-da. Uh, maybe you want to see just the session mediums that are coming in, the percentage breakdowns. Now you can say, hey, we can break things down in a pie chart fashion in almost any method you'd like to. Uh, the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory, like event name, landing page, views, and sessions. The thing to keep in mind, though, folks, is with your views, right? If you have any metrics that are not applied to your dimensions, they will not work. So here we have event name. Event name will only show up for views, right? Page view is only views. So if I say landing page, that will then show up here because it's a different dimensional breakdown. So just keep that in mind as you start building through things. My personal favorite, I'm going to skip this, and this will be down below in the comments if you want to like take it for a spin, is this one down here. So this is, I think, my personal favorite application is using geography. So if I come in here and say, hey, I want to, like right now we have it uh, already set. I'll just show you what it looks like on the edit mode. We've got a map here that's grouped. I'm going to ungroup this, command, uh, command shift to G. And we've got country, we've got sessions, and the zoom area is the world, okay? So if I go into view mode, so just, again, GA4 default connector, country, sessions, world. If we go into view mode, oh, I ungrouped that. Let's group them back together. All right, command G. So now if we go back into view mode, we can then say, I wanna look at country. So now we've got the breakdown of country, which we already had, right? So now you can see this, but what if we wanna do region? Now you could have the regions that you have uh, the the GA4 demo account only has the region of the US, so there we go. And then we have city, right? So then you can see the city which people come from. So you can drill in here. What you can then apply, let me just move this over, right? For the sake of examples, is you could add another uh, control in that would just be a drop down list. I'm going to copy the style from this one. So if you don't want to copy styles, con Command C, and then up here is Control Shift V. Never mind, that's not the thing. <laughs> right click, and then you can say apply special paste, style only, ta da. Uh, what you could then have is this one to be a country, and then this one to be the breakdown. So now, if we hit reset on this, and we go say we grouped these together without those, okay, right click, we're gonna then group them, hit view, and now, folks, we could then say, okay, I want to just see the country of Canada, okay? Then I want to break that Canada down, <laughs> Canada down by region. So now we are only looking at Canada, and then we've broken that down by region. Well, it only wants to show the U.S. So there is sometimes with the GA4 connector, sometimes it is weird in BigQuery. You should be able to do this. Um, so maybe I am mistaken. I mean, city. Let's try this. City, Canada. Well, for some reason, it doesn't want to zoom there. So um, that is a user error right now. I'm not sure why that's happening. But you can see here we've got Canada dots, but it's only showing the US. Super odd. So that is uh, really what we're looking at here, folks, is now you have the application. You've understood where this is in the process and what you can do as far as applying this to the real world using the grouping function. There are a lot of other applications that you can use depending on your business. I just tried to give you the most getting you from zero to one as fast as possible without any of that other fluff. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next